how long should I study for the FE exam? That's a question that I get from many engineers, and the answer isn't as straightforward as you might think. That is why in this video, I'm going to explain how long I believe that you should study for the FE exam, based on my conversations with many engineers. But first, let me remind you that the FE exam, or Fundamentals of Engineering, is the first step to getting your professional engineering license. And through the videos on this channel, including this one, you will learn not only how to prepare for the exam, but how to ensure you pass the EPI exam. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel here as my weekly videos will help you pass the EPI exam. And if you leave questions in the comments below, I will answer them on future videos. In fact, this video is a response to a comment on a previous video. So let's think about the length of study time required to pass the FE exam. I'm gonna give you three items to consider in answering this question for yourself. The first is, when in your life are you taking this exam? This is a huge factor related to how long you will need to study. If you are a college student currently, finishing up your engineering degree, a lot of the concepts on the exam will be fresh in your mind. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And the ones that aren't fresh in your mind you can learn them because you're in study or education mode in your life right now. However, if you're more than a few years removed from graduating college, then you will probably have to study longer, maybe significantly more, because the concepts on the exam won't be fresh in your mind, but also you're not used to studying for exams because you haven't done it for a while. Secondly, you should consider the type of test taker that you are. We can all think of those engineering students that we knew in college that could go out partying until three in the morning, the night before their advanced structural engineering exam, and then still ace the exam. However, we also knew people like me who needed to put in a lot of effort to do well in exams. Which person are you? This is a very important consideration when determining how much time you will need to study for the FE exam. So really think about your ability to study. Lastly, do some research on past examinees. Talk to people who took and passed or failed the exam and asked them about their study time and habits. I've done this for you. I've spoken with a good number of engineers on this topic and most of them tell me that they studied for three to six months leading up to the FE exam for roughly three to five hours per week. Yeah, there have been a few that said they studied only for a month, but they were in the minority. So please take these three considerations into account. First, at what stage are you in your life when you're taking this exam? A current student or are you far removed from college? Secondly, what kind of test taker are you? Do you need a lot of preparation time or not so much? And lastly, talk to others and see what worked for them. See if there were some common trends in their answers. As I mentioned, most of the people I spoke to studied for three to six months for about three to five hours per week. Let me leave you with one last thought. Passing this exam is a critical step in your engineering career and therefore, I would err on the side of studying too much rather than too less. Believe me, you don't want to take this exam twice. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will answer more FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions, weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And these are tips that you can't get anywhere else. And believe me, you won't want to miss a single video. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below. I will read them and respond to them in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a question you need answered. Pass the FE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam.